we are inching toward the start of another school year. Thanks for joining us today on Envision. I'm Deanne Conrad, Community Relations Supervisor. Dr. Brian Maher is talking about staff development today. Um, staff development is kind of an umbrella term for a lot of different things that are happening. Uh, talk a little bit about the, the new teachers that come into mm -hmm. Sioux Falls. How do we get them acclimated to all of the processes and practices that, that we use day in and day out? Mm -hmm. that's, that's so important to what we do. You know, clear back when I interviewed for this position, one of the things I told the Board of Education that I thought was the most important thing that I could do as a superintendent of schools is to help help attract new teachers mm -hmm. and to retain new te new teachers. Well, for the most part, the the attraction of new teachers is is pretty pretty near the end. Now it's for those teachers who we have on staff, how do we make sure that we we train them and retain them? How do we keep them? Right. We start right away here in August to uh, begin with uh, an initiation and induction of our new staff. We'll bring them in. We'll have sessions specifically for them. I'm afraid we overwhelm them because there's so much to learn <laughs> sure. when, you, when you come in. It's kind of like the old adage of um, taking a drink through a fire hose. Right. There's more than you can really take in in the short period of time that we do. So we really give them a lot of information at the beginning. But then we try to follow that up with ongoing reinforcement of that information. In many instances, reteaching of mm -hmm. that information and then uh, uh, allow them to apply what they've learned and, and hopefully over time just love it in the Sioux Falls School District and want to stay here forever. Sure. Um, a along with that induction and just the giving of information, we also provide a mentor teacher to everybody new to the district so that uh, as time goes on they have periodic meetings and they don't have to remember everything that we gave mm -hmm. them in August, you know, ne next March when they're saying, now what did they say right. about? <laughs> uh, they have somebody there, a go-to person there. We also have instructional coaches and of course principals in every building that help with that. I don't know that we ever get totally past the overwhelmed feeling, right. but we have a lot of supports in place to try to, to try to help those new teachers. Right. Now, we'll have a lot of veteran teachers coming back as well. And they need support also. <laughs> yes, and I, I, I think we do a great job uh, in terms of professional development of our staff, whether you're brand new to the district or whether you're a longtime veteran to the district, uh, whether it be on a, on, on a new reading material as we'll have this year mm -hmm. or, or just some sort of ongoing um, pedagogical question that you might have on what's the best way to instruct, what's the sure. best way to impart information and making sure that Students, students are gaining knowledge. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of things like that going on as well. And many of those things happen right before the students report in, in August mm -hmm. for the teachers and then in September for the students. That's also why it's so critical to have those in-service days throughout the school year so that we can have touch points again with staff mm -hmm. to reinforce or to uh, introduce something new um, for them. So those in-service days are, are uh, mm -hmm. Very important. <laughs> I, know I, I know I thought this when I was a student, and I hear it occasionally um, on in-service days where we don't have students, but the teachers are here. Mm -hmm. And the question that I get many times is, so do your teachers have the day off today? <laughs> no, they're working. And right. those, are, those are very, very important days for when they do have students. It's the planning, the preparation, the learning of new things, if you will. Um, those are those are critical days in the development of a staff member. Absolutely, and then we provide staff development also for um, the other positions in our district, like uh, custodians, our clerical, um, our school nurses, and things like that. They all deserve and need updated information, and so staff development is important in those areas as you well. You know, Dan, they not only deserve that and need that. One of the things that we found through surveys is our our non-teaching staff. They want that. They want to be a part of that engagement and that understanding so that when they're in the classroom dealing with the student, um, they, they understand to a large extent what the teacher is trying to get across. Sure, sure. So very critical for us to continue. We are an educational institution and we continue to educate our staff. Um, yes, very uh, focused at the beginning of a school year, but throughout the school year as well. True. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us today on Envisions.